24 hours before No Mercy, the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre returns to action on Friday Night SmackDown as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, tonight, live from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn on the final Friday Night SmackDown before No Mercy tomorrow night in Baltimore. And we kick things off tonight with the number one contender for the United States Championship. He's got the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes tomorrow at No Mercy, but tonight he's got his hands full with the strange and unusual Dexter Loomis to kick things off on SmackDown. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. Wrong. You saw it on the back of the singlet. Braun Breaker wants to be known as meaner than evil, and he has taken that mean streak straight to a challenging matchup with Cody Rhodes tomorrow night for the United States Championship. No Mercy will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, Saturday night, the SmackDown exclusive live premiere event. And of course, Unforgiven from Monday Night Raw just 24 hours later, 5 p.m. on Sunday. But as we focus in on the action in the middle of Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York, the number one contender for the United States Championship, Braun Breaker, looks to continue his vicious momentum that he has been building over the last several weeks. Tonight he goes one-on-one -on -one with Dexter Loomis. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Well, Dexter Loomis returned to action a few weeks ago, one, going one-on-one -on -one with the ring general, Gunther. Unfortunately, a loss for Dexter Loomis. That was his first match back after spending most of the summer on the shelf due to injury. So let's see if Dexter Loomis can turn his momentum around here tonight. Dexter, at one point in time, dating back at just a few months ago, was getting close to becoming the number one contender for the United States Championship until an injury derailed him. A win for Dexter Loomis tonight could easily put him in line for a future championship matchup against whoever leaves the CFG Bank Arena tomorrow night as the United States champion, whether that be Cody Rhodes or whether that be the challenger, Braun Breaker. But what a night it is going to be here in New York City, Brooklyn, as we got the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, signed to fight the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre in your main event. Two men will be a part of that five-man elimination match Tomorrow night at No Mercy, including Austin Theory, AJ Styles, and Edge for the World Heavyweight title. Cannot wait to get to No Mercy tomorrow, but it's got to be an action-packed night as it always is. We fight on Friday nights, and here we go. Braun Breaker kicking things off with Dexter Loomis. Meaner than evil Braun Breaker, who has been building a certainly an impressive resume, to say the least, over the last couple of weeks. Earning victory after victory here on SmackDown. Remember last month, he finally settled the score with the show-off Dolph Ziggler inside of the steel cage. Absolute vicious steel cage match here on SmackDown. Braun Breaker picking up the victory on that night. And it was just one week later, the first SmackDown after SummerSlam where Cody Rhodes was walking in with the United States Championship that Braun Breaker threw down the gauntlet and used Cody Rhodes' own United States Championship to smash Cody in the skull with said gold. One week later, Braun Breaker defeated the one and only Ricochet here on SmackDown, and just last week, Braun staring down Cody Rhodes from the stage, making sure it is well known his plans to leave no mercy tomorrow night, wearing the red, white, blue, and gold. Braun's got all the tools to be a champion, Form former two-time NXT champion, and back in May was challenging Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight title. Unsuccessful effort, of course, but will Cody Rhodes fall to the destruction of Braun Breaker. All remains to be seen. We will find out tomorrow night at the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore, Le Baltimore, Maryland. Right now, Braun Breaker showcasing his beautiful arsenal, very powerful, a lot of strength, a lot of strikes in the arsenal of meaner than evil himself. Oh, what a big boot. I'm sure the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is getting one last scouting session in before he tries to take down this young, hungry blue chipper, as we call him here on SmackDown. Braun Breaker, regardless of the result tomorrow night, is going to be a future player, no doubt about it. He's going to be a main event star, just in his blood, part of the Steiner family lineage. 
Scott Steiner, former WCW World Champion back in the day. Ron Breaker's got an opportunity to catapult himself to absolutely catastrophic lengths tomorrow night. He can leave Baltimore as the United States Champion. Dexter Loomis not interested in Braun Breaker's affairs. My goodness, Dexter Loomis over the top rope. And if that doesn't show you how motivated this psychopath is to win this matchup tonight, I don't know what will. When's the last time you saw Dexter go for a ride? Or I should say willingly, because that time Braun Breaker just sent him for one with the belly to belly at ringside. Dexter Loomis, we call him strange, we call him unusual, unorthodox, but certainly cold and calculated and coming in tonight with a plan. But Braun Breaker's got other means in mind tonight. Number one contender for the United States Championship wants all the momentum he can gather before he fights Cody Rhodes in that very squared circle tomorrow night in Baltimore. Dexter Loomis is the one bringing this fight back inside the squared circle, but Braun Breaker dropping him with that shot right to the jaw. Braun Breaker, very agile as well. For a man of his size, he's got a lot of strength in that arsenal. Oh man, there's the spear by Braun Breaker. One of the signatures in the arsenal, and it's only a two, but a close call there. Dexter Loomis getting the shoulder up. Braun going for the spear to no avail. Well, he hit it, but not to the avail of the three count. Unfortunately, not able to... Wait a minute here. What the hell? the hell did we just sit? Dexter Loomis playing some mind games with Braun Breaker here at the Barclay Center and trying to steal the victory. I don't know what the hell just happened, but Dexter Loomis now trying to take control of this match, but the number one contender for the United States Championship has got other plans. Well, there's another counter by Dexter Loomis. This man has come unglued. We said what happened in his return matchup last month against the ring general Gunther coming up short. Dexter not looking to smell a loss again tonight. But neither is this blue chipper. There again, muscling up Dexter Loomis. Ron Breaker so talented inside of that ring. A mean streak, without a doubt. Cody Rhodes, it is not going to be an easy task to try and defeat and retain his United States Championship against Braun Breaker tomorrow night. A matchup that could easily go either way between the champion and the challenger, especially with the role that Braun Breaker has been on. Cody Rhodes, he's not gonna overlook Braun, but in the case that, the rare case I should say that he does, he absolutely cannot overlook Braun Breaker tomorrow night. Dexter Loom is even trying to play those sneaky mind games Absolutely no avail. Didn't work out. But now Braun Breaker. Oh no, grabbing a hold. Muscling up. The psychopath and a press slam by the number one contender. And Braun Breaker making yet another statement on the road to no mercy tomorrow night. Well, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes has taken notice. We know that for sure but he better have the right game plan in mind because meaner than evil Braun Breaker is looking to roll past the American Nightmare and leave with the gold. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Tomorrow night, CFG Bank Arena, Baltimore, Maryland, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the United States Heavyweight Championship, a title that has been in the family, in the bloodline of Braun Breaker before. Will Breaker leave no mercy as the United States Champion, or will the red, white, blue, and gold remain with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes? We find out tomorrow night. One of the most personal matchups signed for No Mercy is certainly this affair between the EST Bianca Belair and the ballsy badass Shotzi. Two former tag team partners, former rivals, now turned, to, turned against each other once again. Belair and Shotzi meet tomorrow night at No Mercy. Selena Vega set for action here in Brooklyn, New York, and she's got the EST standing across the squared circle.
Bianca Belair and Shotzi very well may have been the women's rivalry of 2022, but it was a rivalry built off championship gold and mutual respect. Respect that bled into WrestleMania earlier this year when Shotzi was in need of a tag team partner and called upon the EST. And remember what happened at the grandest stage of them all. Becky, or excuse me, Bianca Belair and Shotzi leaving the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions on that night. Titles that they would go on to hold to the month of May, losing to Elia and Raquel Rodriguez at the Rishi and Open Challenge here on SmackDown. And ever since then, there was tensions rising between Belair and Shotzi. Tensions that really came to the head in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup, which was won by Bianca Belair. Shotzi disappeared for weeks, but it wasn't until after Money in the Bank when Shotzi reared her head, ambushed Bianca Belair from behind after a contest here on SmackDown, and things have not been the same since. Belair wants her payback. No rest for the weary. She's gonna fight this fight with Selena Vega tonight, and then come out swinging tomorrow at no mercy. Should be a great contest, very personal rivalry between Shotzi and Bianca Belair. But all the bad blood aside, as we mentioned, quite possibly may have been one of the women's rivalries, the best women's rivalries of 2022. And they are set to lock horns in 2023 at the CFG Bank Arena tomorrow night. Let's look at Zelina Vega here. This is a huge opportunity for this veteran of the ring to finally start building some momentum here on SmackDown. Zelina, very talented inside of that square circle. A lot of speed, a lot of agility, not afraid to take a risk when needed. Easily, easily could be next in line for a future women's championship opportunity if she could secure the victory over Bianca Belair tonight. And certainly derail some of Bianca's momentum heading in for a match with Shotzi tomorrow. And there of course is the chance that's so close to no mercy, Bianca's coming into this match with her mind already set on the ballsy badass tomorrow night. If that's the case, she very well may overlook Selena Vega, possibly make a mistake, and that's gonna leave Zelina a window of opportunity to take advantage and possibly pick up the victory. However, that being said, Bianca's looking pretty good right now over Zelina. A nice counter there by Vega. Vega almost goading her to the outside, not rushing to get back inside the squared circle. A nice hurricane run off the apron by Zelina Vega. Bianca down, but is Bianca out? And I'm sure Shotzi would be grinning ear to ear to see the EST fall short tonight on the road to no mercy. But wait a minute, Belair grabbing Zelina on her way inside of the ring and face first off the canvas. And will that do it? Oh, not just yet, Selena Vega showing her resilience there, popping the shoulder off the canvas after the two. Women's Championship of the WWE, of course, on the line tomorrow night as well. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, set to defend her gold against the Poison Pixie, Candice LeRae. And I'm sure both of these women, as well as the ballsy badass Shotzi, would love to earn themselves a championship match against the winner tomorrow night. But Bianca coming from the top with the 450 splash. A move that has won her so many abouts here on SmackDown, and it wins her another one tonight in Brooklyn. Selena Vega tried to give it her fight. But Bianca Belair clearly laser focused on the matter at hand. It's the EST versus the ballsy badass. Shotzi, a personal rivalry, comes to a screeching head in 24 hours in Baltimore at no mercy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shotzi in the ring. Singapore Kane in hand and ambushing Bianca. One more time, one last laugh on the road to no mercy. Well, that has been an M.O. of Shotzi over the last few months, but no sneak attacks tomorrow night. It's Shotzi and Bianca face to face inside the middle of the ring in Baltimore. Over the last four weeks, we have witnessed the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic play out and starting this Saturday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern time, the quarterfinals of the CWC begin. Los Lotharios Angel Garza set to take on former NXT Heritage Cup winner Nathan Frazier tomorrow afternoon in the quarterfinals. Also coming your way at 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow in Hammerstein Ballroom, it is the Irish Ace. J.D. McDonough 
taking on the invincible Ilya Dragunov. It's an interpromotional matchup between Raw and SmackDown as McDonough battles Dragunov. All that coming your way at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, live from the Hammerstein Ballroom tomorrow afternoon, just two hours before we go live for No Mercy at 5 in Baltimore. Cruiserweight Classic has been an awesome watch, but before we continue with the CWC, we got to build some momentum towards No Mercy, and there's a very interesting situation at hand here with the Mysterio family and their partner tomorrow night, that being the man in the background, Johnny Organo, Johnny Wrestling. They will battle Imperium in less than 24 hours, but we're going to talk all about this very interesting situation at hand in moments. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio! Well, Johnny Gargano was laid to waste by Gunther a few weeks ago here on SmackDown, and Gargano wants to even the score with Imperium, so he called upon the Mysterio family, two men who have had their wars with Gunther, Kaiser, and Vinci throughout the summer, Big time six man tag coming your way tomorrow night in Baltimore as Imperium goes 3v3 against Johnny Gargano, Dominic Mysterio, and Rey Mysterio. But tonight here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio set to go 1v1 against one third of Imperium. And that being Ludwig Kaiser tonight on SmackDown. Gunther obviously coming unhinged after losing his United States Championship at SummerSlam. Not only defeating Johnny Gargano a few weeks ago, but putting him through the announce table. But you reap what you sow, and now Imperium's got a war in less than 24 hours at No Mercy. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser! Imperium looks laser focused. And I'm sure after Gunther's loss at SummerSlam, Imperium has gone back to the drawing board to refocus, to put together a new game plan, and to not allow another, not allow, excuse me, another loss in the locker room for Imperium. The ring general Gunther, Giovanni Vinci, and Ludwig Kaiser. 3v3 tomorrow night, but as we mentioned tonight here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, Ludwig Kaiser set to go one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. And this should be a great matchup. What has been an awesome night already here on SmackDown. Of course, still to come in your main event, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, one of four challengers in tomorrow's five-man elimination main event, takes on the world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. That's coming your way tonight in your main event in Brooklyn. But as we head towards No Mercy tomorrow, let's get set for this one-on-one -on -one matchup between Ludwig Kaiser and Rey Mysterio. And as we mentioned, there's a very interesting situation at hand. Gargano and the Mysterio family coming together to take down a common enemy in Imperium. But if you've been keeping up with the Cruiserweight Classic every Saturday afternoon, you know that Johnny Gargano and Dominic Mysterio, the two men at ringside right now, are set to meet each other one-on-one -on -one next Saturday afternoon in the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic. So those two men, friends tomorrow night, at least partners, I shouldn't say friends, at least got to be partners and coexist tomorrow night and not let their egos and their will to gain some momentum over the other towards their quarterfinal match in the Cruiserweight Classic. Hopefully slay any result tomorrow night, but remains to be seen. I'm sure there's mutual respect between the two men, but obviously with the competition that has been, the CWC, you never know what's going to happen when they're forced to stand side by side. I'm sure Gargano and the Mysterios wouldn't have agreed to the six-man tag had they not been able to coexist. All remains to be seen what's going to happen tomorrow, but Ludwig Kaiser changing the momentum of this matchup in a blink of an eye off that springboard drop kick. Mysterio missing that senton moments ago, and it may have costed him. A lot of momentum riding on the line in this matchup. Dominic and Gargano, as well as Vinci and Gunther, may be at ringside tonight, but they're all going to be inside the squared circle in 24 hours for that massive six-man tag team match at No Mercy. It's going to be an awesome event. 
Coming your way tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to be live for week five of the Cruiserweight Classic, kicking off the quarterfinals. 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow afternoon, or excuse me, tomorrow night. Will be No Mercy in Baltimore. Friday night SmackDown exclusive event. And then coming your way this Sunday, live from Chicago, Illinois. 5 p.m. Eastern time is the Raw exclusive live premiere event. Unforgiven. Massive week here. Not going to want to miss a moment of it as Rey Mysterio rolls to the outside and Ludwig Kaiser. Wheels are spinning. Kaiser, look at this. Tope suicided through the ropes. And clearly there was a pep talk in the Imperium locker room heading into this matchup. You know, it's been a little bit since we've seen Kaiser and Vinci, not necessarily in the ring, but certainly a little while since we've seen them get their hand raised. Guther has really been carrying the load for Imperium over the last few months. Guther not looking to see any losses in the Imperium locker room. Doesn't want any blemishes on the record. And clearly Kaiser kicking it into a new gear tonight to try to ensure that. Rey Mysterio, the Hall of Famer, has got other plans. Taking down Kaiser off. Coming back inside the ring with that DDT. Mysterio trying to get rolling here as he sends Kaiser to the outside. It was Kaiser with the Tope Suicida moments ago. This time it's Mysterio turning the Tope Suicida into the Tornado DDT. Nobody does it better than the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. And back inside the ring is Rey Mysterio starting to pick up momentum. But there's Kaiser from behind. Rey with the counter. Going for the springboard. He saw Kaiser had a taking a few steps back before Ray could realize and a crash and burn by the master of the 619. And now Kaiser going for the punt kick. Mysterio ducks out. Goes for the roll up there and there's a right hand. Ludwig Kaiser, Ray Mysterio back and forth. The pendulum momentum swings in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Ludwig Kaiser, predominantly a tag team wrestler, of course, with Giovanni Vinci, former NXT tag team champions, but looking good in this singles matchup thus far. Kaiser down, Rey Mysterio on the middle buckle, wheels are turning. Moonsault, but he got caught, and he turns in to another Tornado DDT. Rey Mysterio, so creative in his arsenal as we know, but ain't nothing creative about this. It's Gunther takes the eye off the ball, and Rey Mysterio may have just lost the momentum for the match. Ludwig Kaiser almost steal the victory to no avail. Imperium not afraid to use an underhander, underhanded tactic or two to get the victory, as Gunther may have played dividends into the result. All remains to be seen if Rey Mysterio can get back into this. Rey Mysterio may be dazed, but if we, want, if we know anything about Rey Mysterio is that he's going to keep swinging until the bell. And with Johnny Gargano and Dominic at ringside and the six-man tag tomorrow night, Rey Mysterio not looking ahead. Back into the locker room here in Barclays with their heads, with their heads hanging low. That's for damn sure. Off the springboard, going for the moonsault, but once again, as Rey already had his back turn and was in the air, Kaiser slowly moved out of the way. High-risk maneuver. Not working out for Kaiser, excuse me, not working out for Mysterio, but that clothesline certainly did. Right off the springboard again, splits the difference. Bulldog! And it may be ball game here in the home of the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, wait a minute here. Mysterio sending Kaiser to the ropes, going for a six. Oh no, we go for the 619, but Ludwig Kaiser with the counter. And you saw the referee's back was turned with Gunther. Looked like he was trying to take the turnbuckle pad off. That might have taken Ray's eye off the ball, at least his, in his peripheral vision, and allowed Kaiser to reverse the 619. And now look at this overhead exploder suplex by Ludwig Kaiser into the cover of Mysterio. Oh man, what an upset! Ludwig Kaiser coming into this singles matchup tonight and getting the job done for Imperium. Gotta call it an upset there. Ludwig Kaiser talented as all hell nonetheless, but a few underhanded tactics by Imperium. Ray's eye getting taken off the ball and Ludwig Kaiser able to capitalize on the situation to secure the three count and most importantly the win. Here is your winner, Ludwig. Well, that does not go well for the momentum 
of Johnny Organo, Dominic, and Ray. But who will get the one up tomorrow night in the six man tag at No Mercy? It is the Friday Night SmackDown exclusive live premiere event, and it's coming your way tomorrow night from Baltimore, Maryland at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the 2023 edition of No Mercy. And signed for tomorrow night at the CFG Bank Arena, a personal grudge to be settled as the ballsy badass Shotzi looks to finally cut her ties with the EST Bianca Belair, former tag team partners one-on-one -on -one tomorrow night. The Nigerian giant Omas has set a target on the one and only Ricochet after Ricochet upset him last month here on SmackDown. They're set to run things back. It's a David vs. Goliath situation between Omas and the one and only Ricochet. Imperium getting the last laugh tonight in Brooklyn, but what will be the result tomorrow night in Baltimore as Imperium's Gunther, Kaiser, and Vinci take on Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, Dominic, and Rey Mysterio in the big six-man tag. The WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Candice LeRae has been chomping at the bit for another opportunity all summer long. Finally becoming the number one contender, can she take down the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, tomorrow night? Chad Gable has gone two for two against Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde, but can he go three for three in all of Legato Del Fantasma? Take down Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Championships will be the theme of the evening as the United States title is on the line. Meaner than evil, Braun Breaker, one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, Tony Rhodes. And in the main event, it is the five-man elimination challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. AJ Styles, Austin Theory, Edge, Randy Orton, and the Scottish Warrior Drew McIntyre. Five SmackDown All-Stars, one ring, one winner, and only one true World Heavyweight Champion. But as for tonight here in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, it is main event time on Friday Night SmackDown. And for the first time since SummerSlam, Drew McIntyre laces up a pair of boots, walks down the aisle, supporting the big gold belt around his waist, and ready to get a little warm up before that five-man elimination challenge tomorrow night. And he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with a man who's been on his tail for months here on SmackDown, the Apex Predator Randy Orton. The championship may not be on the line tonight, but massive momentum towards tomorrow night's championship fight certainly is. It's main event time here in Brooklyn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre won the World Heavyweight Championship back at WrestleMania. He has won against Seth Rollins, John Cena, Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, Austin Theory, but tomorrow night is no doubt the biggest challenge since McIntyre left WrestleMania earlier this year with the big gold belt. Some men he has already faced before, yes, but not under these circumstances and not under a matchup where every man's got to fall to secure a world heavyweight champion. McIntyre's got to fight through four other challengers. It is not going to be an easy task when you're standing across the ring from a Hall of Famer future Hall of Famers, former world champions, and everybody going for the same end goal of the World Heavyweight Championship. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Tomorrow night, there's gotta be four casualties to, to, to secure a victor at no mercy in Baltimore, but tonight here on SmackDown in Brooklyn, Randy Orton is looking for just one casualty, and that is the World Heavyweight Champion himself, Drew McIntyre. Orton has been gunning for that world title ever since jumping ship to SmackDown earlier this summer. Remember back at Money in the Bank, it was Randy Orton, Edge, and McIntyre in a triple threat matchup, a matchup which, of course, McIntyre retained the gold, and Randy Orton took his sights to the Rated-R Superstar Edge, a man he has had a storied pass with 
wanted to eliminate Edge from competition and get him out of the way to try to move forward in becoming the number one contender for McIntyre. Orton did defeat Edge at SummerSlam, but as you have seen over the last few weeks on SmackDown, Orton, Edge, Austin Theory, AJ Styles, these four men have been back and forth with each and every one of each other trying to trying to proclaim who would be the number one contender for Drew McIntyre. After the inability to secure a number one contender through controversy and chaos, the five-man elimination match was signed, and somebody is going to get the last laugh. We are going to have one true winner tomorrow night. Bell to bell will sound, as it just did, and the World Heavyweight Champion will leave tomorrow with the big gold belt. Randy Orton and McIntyre locking horns in your main event here on SmackDown. And once again, coming your way tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kick off at the Hammerstein Ballroom. And we head to Baltimore, Maryland at 5 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow night for the SmackDown exclusive premium live event, No Mercy. And then coming your way this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live from Chicago, Illinois, is the Raw exclusive live premiere event, Unforgiven. It's going to be an awesome weekend. It's been an awesome week. Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, Cruiserweight Classic set to continue us tomorrow. No better place you're going to get this kind of action than right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that like. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to become a channel member. Don't miss a minute of the action. On the West, Drew McIntyre's his first matchup back since that world title defense at SummerSlam in Levi Stadium. Phenomenal matchup against the young, hungry Austin Theory, the 2023 King of the Ring winner. As McIntyre sends Orton to the outside here, and McIntyre looking to get a little bit of the rust off before tomorrow night, going to the sky! But Randy Orton had it scouted, and the world champion goes crashing and burning at ringside, and Orton is going to hunt down his prey. The Apex Predator sending McIntyre right into the ring post. Warren's been waiting for a one-on-one -on -one match with McIntyre, and the title may not be on the line tonight, but momentum absolutely is. Randy Orton has wanted nothing more than to get back in the main event, hold championship gold once again. Remember before he jumped to SmackDown, he was on top of Monday Night Raw for months as the WWE Champion. Now Orton wants another reign with the gold, this time the World Heavyweight title, the first title. First world championship Randy Orton held here in the WWE all those years ago. The fight gets taken back inside the squared circle and McIntyre's not looking hot right now against Randy Orton. This is a tough matchup to take just 24 hours before a world title defense and it's interesting that Randy Orton agreed upon this matchup as well. Randy Orton most likely looks at this matchup as an opportunity to weaken a man who has been dominant all year long. We have said it before, we'll say it again. 2023 has been the year of the Scottish Warrior from winning Elimination Chamber in January, winning the world title at WrestleMania, defending it ever since, month after month, week after week. McIntyre continues to get better, continue to survive the toughest challenges in absolutely emphatic ways and leave world champion. Four challengers or not, McIntyre is still a tough man to beat. No matter which way you spin it, it's going to be a difficult task to leave Baltimore, Maryland tomorrow night as the World Heavyweight Champion. And that is what Randy Orton has got in mind this evening here in Brooklyn. Eliminate McIntyre from competition. And at least try to weaken him before the five-man elimination challenge. Mac oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cameras cut into the back. The rated R superstar edge, Austin Theory, a brawl has broken out in the backstage area. Remember what happened last week. Edge was set to fight Austin Theory in the main event, but Theory took him out earlier in the evening, and AJ Styles then signed up to fight Austin Theory in the main event. And chaos ensued from there, but clearly unfinished business between Theory and Edge, and these two men not waiting for tomorrow night. A brawl has ensued in the backstage area. And I don't know who started this, if this was another Theory attack, as that has been his M.O. the last couple of weeks, or if Edge was the one chomping at the bit to get his hands on Theory. But nonetheless, we got a Pier 6 brawl in the middle of Barclays Center. Absolute chaos. We got to get some help back there. Separate those two men before they absolutely incapacitate each other before No Mercy tomorrow night. 
We are back inside the Barclays Center, thankfully. Hopefully we get those two men separated. Nonetheless, McIntyre back in control of this matchup. Randy Orton was controlling the last couple of minutes. Man, if that doesn't show, tensions have been riding high on SmackDown for weeks between Orton and Styles and Edge and Theory. All with the same end goal as we mentioned, becoming number one contender for the world title. And it's all led us to tomorrow night. And tensions clearly riding high. Theory attacking Edge, Edge attacking Theory. Randy Orton getting involved last week. RKOing Edge out in the WWE Universe onto the concrete. McIntyre is the one who's just been sitting back watching all this chaos, waiting to see who was going to step up. And ultimately, the five-man elimination match was signed for tomorrow. Or oh, remains to be seen. Somebody's going to get the last laugh, and the chaos is going to come to a close. 24 hours in Baltimore. Nonetheless, let's focus on the matchup at hand here tonight in Barclays. McIntyre and Orton to a SmackDown's All-Star, squaring off one-on-one. -on -one. You know, an interesting fact coming into this matchup is the last time McIntyre and Orton went one-on-one -on -one in any capacity was last year on Monday Night Raw around this time, and Randy Orton actually defeated McIntyre on that night. Gotta wonder if McIntyre has thought back to that matchup. A lot of history between these two men nonetheless, but the most recent coming last year around this time on Monday Night Raw is an all-star massive main event. And Randy Orton walked away with a victor. But right now, Drew McIntyre showing that he's an absolutely different man this time around. Dragged on Randy Orton at ringside. Not something you see too often. If anybody can do it, the World Heavyweight Champion certainly can. Orton down. McIntyre going for the Claymore, it looked like there. Was loading up as Randy Orton was dazed. Or was the Viper just lying in wait? Because now Orton's got McIntyre off his feet yet again. And the momentum has swung back to the Apex Predator. Randy Orton going for that signature. Vintage Orton. DDT from the middle rope. And McIntyre, the World Heavyweight Champion, is down, could possibly be out, and could be about to suffer his first defeat in all of 2023. But McIntyre pops the shot. Oh, again, Theory and Edge. Theory and Edge are still going at it in the backstage area here at Barclays. Well, clearly nobody willing to get between these two men who are absolutely hell-bent on tearing each other apart. And I don't know if they give a damn about making it to No Mercy tomorrow, at least trying to eliminate the other from competition. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what happened last week. This is why Edge couldn't compete in the main event. Through the table goes the rated R superstar. Theory laying out Edge for the second week in a row. Through table to the concrete. Edge is down, and Austin Theory is walking away, grinning ear to ear. Well, it all comes down to tomorrow night. We could say more, but clearly the chaos speaks for itself. It's been the MO of all of these All-Stars over the last few weeks on SmackDown. Who's going to get the last lap? Who's going to be first in line? McIntyre's taking on any and all comers. Put up or shut up tomorrow night at no mercy. Leave the World Heavyweight Champion, and then you can call the shots. Right now, the champion himself, McIntyre, is back under the mercy of Randy Orton. And Drew playing a game of cat and mouse right now as both these men's endurance may be starting to slip through. Well, Randy Orton as McIntyre came to the outside, go to the man, and sends him into the barricade. Vicious matchup between Orton and McIntyre. Gotta wonder if this is gonna play into if there will be enough in the tank, if there will be 100% before the five man elimination match tomorrow. Those line on the outside, Orton's really starting to kick things into gear and just continues to pummel the world heavyweight champion on the outskirts of the squared circle. Oh, wait, what the hell? What the hell? AJ Styles! He just hit Randy Orton with a phenomenal forearm. Orton's out. Styles, who has had his issues with Orton, dropping him in the ring. The chaos has got to come to a close tomorrow night. Five-man elimination challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at 5 p.m. at No Mercy.
Game pays on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.